West up, 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 west up. What's up, Sunsees? What's up? This your girl, Mystic Sunflower. I'm back to give you guys the collective general energy reading. It doesn't matter what your sign is, Sunsees, for this message to resonate. Sunsees, just please make sure you use discernment, take what resonate, and leave the rest behind, okay? Sunsees, it may resonate or may not, okay? Let's see what's going on. Let's tap in for you guys. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Divine, my ancestors of the highest white light, my spirit guides, my holy angels. Archangel Michael, please come through and protect me while I channel the energy for the collective sun seeds. Anything other than the highest white light, please close and shut that door. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. I'm getting some type of communication wants to come in. Somebody could be wanting to confess something to you. Um, somebody could definitely be one of, yeah, some type of communication, throat chakra. Somebody want to heal a situation with you. Somebody could be seeing you as very angelic, very victorious. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, what's the current energy? What's the most important message that you want to collect the sun seeds to hear at this time? Somebody also could be seeing you as very inspirational as well. Um, <clears throat> this person could be seeing you as someone who's you know, focus on your goals and, you know, pursuing them at this time. Let's see. Somebody could be definitely remaining hopeful at this time when it comes to this connection with you guys. Somebody could be also seeing you as like the light in the dark. Somebody could feel like your light brings, you bring um, light to their darkness. Something about today could be a special day for someone as well. Yeah, relationships and adversity. Yeah, someone feels like this person could be going through a challenging time right now, but somebody feels like you bring the light and, you know, in a, in a dark world, like you bring the light to the darkness. Yeah, envy and humor. Ooh, excuse me, confirmation. Humor, I choose to focus on the lighter side of um, life. Yeah. Someone could be definitely envying the fact that, you know, maybe you might be happy or you choosing to look at the lighter side of life. And this person over here, who you was in relationship with, is going through a lot of adversity. Yeah, the death card and acceptance. Somebody could be finding it real hard to accept the fact that something might be over with between you guys. Because somebody loves you. Mm-hmm. Someone feels like you bring balance to their life. First of all, could be blaming you. What's this energy I'm picking up for, Holy Spirit? Thank you. Base chakra. So, you could be someone who's choosing to only look at, you know, the positive in life. That's why we see the humor card. Um, you choosing to look at the lighter side. Uh, maybe you helped this person out, Sunsee. You could have helped this person when it came to, like, their home, their career, or their finances, or something like that. And this person could be having, you know, some difficulties with that. Now, you know, when you're not being around, somebody could feel like, what well, if I had Mystic Sunflower Sunsees around, I know they, you know, they they will be the light, you know, they'll make me feel happy or they'll make me feel like, you know, things lighter, you know, they'll give me some type of guidance or some help. Um, this person could definitely be thinking very negative at this time, but you could, you know, help this person see the positive and, you know, in every aspect of their life, even through adversity. Yeah. I'm telling you, somebody fairy, somebody sees you as very angelic. Fairies and sacral chakra are seen. Yeah, something about you, you being so angelic with the sacral chakra, you know how to create, okay? Mm-hmm. You're very creative. You could have helped this person. Give me more Holy Spirit. Give me more Holy Spirit. Somebody feels like you know how to get to the root of things. Like, you, you know what to say, what to do. Thank you. Yeah, I can't make it up. Happiness. 
you bring this person a lot of happiness. Like I, I heard you could be the light in this, and this, this person could, you know, come from a, you know, a dark place, but something about your light brings happiness to this person. Some type of hope or faith. I'm getting like the star card in my third eye. We have deny you. This person could have been in denial at one point in time. Deny you. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. Hmm. Somebody could have been in denial. They could have felt like, you know what? You know, if you leave, you know, that's okay. You know, I'll be okay. I'll be fine. Yeah, they was in denial. You You brought the happiness to this person's life. You gave this person your time, your energy, I'm hearing. Archangel Michael under here, under the bottom. Yeah. So, Archangel Michael could have definitely uh, been protecting you. Some of you guys can be definitely an indigo. We have judgment and purpose. So, this person could be receiving some type of karma under judgment. Okay. Maybe this um, indigo and purpose. Someone is definitely in a purpose. Okay. You can definitely be an indigo child. Um. But this person could be under judgment and receiving karma for something that they did to you, okay? Especially when someone's envying you um, as much as you help them, you know? Mm -hmm. Somebody could have been trying to cause um, adversity or chaos in your life because you decided to pull your energy back. But Archangel Michael is here with his sword. He's protecting you from uh, uh, um, this energy. Hmm. Archangel Raphael, there's some healing going on. Yeah, peace. Yeah, peace and visualize success. This person feels like you choose to look at the lighter side of life. Um, you're happy, you have peace, you have success. And it makes this person envy you because this person feels like they're going through a lot at this time. And somebody feels like you don't even care because you pulled your energy back. They feel like you don't even care. But I feel like there's some type of confession that this person wants to say to you. They want to speak up because somebody was in denial of how much you really mean to them. Now they want to speak up and, you know, and express their feelings for you. Something that this person did, this person feels like you may won't forgive them. But we have peace and vigilance to set. This could be somebody who blames a lot of people when they go through stuff. This person could play the victim a lot as well. But also, I'm getting this person could have definitely blamed you. Let's see. This person could have definitely had trust issues with communication. I'm hearing you was committed to this person. You could have been going through things in your own life and you still was helping this person. This person didn't regret. But there's some type of communication that's coming to you soon in the near future spirit is saying. Mm-hmm. Somebody was wrong about you. And I feel like whatever insecurities they had, they project onto this connection. And I feel like Archangel Michael had to come and grab you up. We dealing with a fire sign or a water sign. Opposites attract. This is somebody who held back they 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 feel us for you. Like somebody acted like it wasn't nothing about you walking away. Yeah, it's giving me an energy of like a, a um a king of swords, someone who could have been very cold, very detached, or someone who just you know, this somebody, of course they have feelings, but this is somebody who just don't know how to express their feelings. Um, they're not comfortable with expressing their feelings. I feel like, but you, somebody is realizing that they can be open with you. They can, with the throat shocker we see earlier, they can express their feelings with you. Somebody realized that, um, they held back from the wrong person. Thank you, spirit. This could have been someone who had many options as well. What's this base chakra, Holy Spirit? Base chakra. Base chakra. Yeah, cleanse. Yeah, cleanse. Negative energy, fresh start. I feel like you cleanse your energy from this person. Sunseed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like you definitely had to heal from, from this energy. I don't... 
Mm. I feel like with the peace and success, it's like you focused on your passions and your dreams at this time. You know, as they you know, as they become reality, after persevering from a situation that you had to deal with, somebody who was so negative, you had yeah, you need a space, baby. You need a space. Yeah, air. You could be dealing with an air sign or earth sign. But yeah. I feel like you stayed real. You kept it real with this person. Um it just this person was just like it was giving me like two sides. You, you just never knew what you was gonna get with this person. Something was definitely a struggle, and I feel like you definitely cleared your space, cleansed this person away from you, and now you just focused on your peace and your success, you know? Um, you know, pursuing whatever makes you, whatever you're passionate about. Like I said, after persevering from someone who just had a negative mindset, it's giving me that you guys are totally different. That's why we see the opposites attract. You're more positive. This person is very negative. Yeah, confirmation. This person wants to rewrite you guys' love story. Yeah. Whoever this person is, they see a long-term relationship with you. They was in denial at first with the happiness and deny you. They was in denial at first. But now somebody is seeing clearly. And they want to uh, redefine this relationship with you. They see long-term. Definitely could be a divine counterpart. Yeah, this is someone who has a lot of passion for you. But this is also somebody who suffer from some type of mental health issues. Okay, confirmation. This person has a lot of insecurities. Um, something happened to this person in their past. And this person projected it onto you. Yeah, this person was avoiding the truth when it came to this love connection. Mm-hmm. Now somebody wants to join you with you. Yeah, this is somebody who, who's, who's have to do the shadow work right now. You know, go with this, self-reflect. Um... Yeah, and they focusing on you. While they doing the shadow work, this person is focusing on you. But life is weighing down on this person. With all the adversity they're going through, life is weighing down because with this closed gate, a cycle has closed out between you guys. And I feel like that's just you helping this person. Because mm -hmm. you have to protect your energy while this person do the shadow work. Somebody was real mean and cruel. This person thinks about you a lot. I feel like life is definitely weighing down. And this person feels like the only person that can make them happy or or make them feel better about their situation, they pushed away. This person was definitely codependent on your energy. Something about your energy, this person got validation from that. Yeah, they got validation from that. And spirit wants this person to be whole on their, on their own song, on by themselves. Somebody depended on you so much to where... You know, they, they didn't realize that they was breaking you down in the process. You had to cleanse. This person was, because they had too much negativity attached to them. Yeah, conflict and opposites attract. I'm telling you, you was too positive and this person was too negative. It was something about them that it was bringing you down. What's this, Clint? Clint? Somebody feel like they can't lose you. What's the Clint? Thank you, spirit. Yeah, in the near future. Um, isolated, feeling sad and alone. Somebody worries about you having... Oh, well, damn. Somebody worried that you moved on. You're in a whole other connection. I don't know what that card is that fell over there. We're going to leave it there. But somebody, whoever this person is that's alone, they worry about you moving on, finding new love, be getting in a union, someone appreciating you. Yeah, this person is a hot mess. They're not doing too good right now. What's this isolating? Feeling sad and alone. What's this isolating? Soulmate. So this could be a soulmate of you guys. Someone who you had a soul connection with, a past life with. Mm-mm. This person feels like you guys are meant to be. Yes. Wow. Soulmate, soul contract.
Yeah, this is someone who you definitely shared a soul contract with, a soulmate. But there was some type of dramas and, and, and chocos here. that and, and it caused this person to be envying and jealous of you. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, because you I just seen 15 on the, um, on the clock. I feel like someone is doing very well for themselves, which is you, Sunseeds. And this person is not where you at in life. So, instead of this person, you know, I, I would just her looking up to you. Or appreciate having someone in your energy. I mean, having someone around like you in their energy. They was real mean to you out of envy. Out of envy. So, Spirit was like, nope. I'm going to put a pause to this, okay? This relationship needs a break. Yeah, happiness. Mm-hmm. And it's like... This person feels like they're miserable, they're sobbing, they're going through it, and they feel like you over here happy as hell. Somebody watching you on the internet. You could definitely, cat lady, you could be single, okay? Wow, I'm going to tell you, somebody feels like you're the reason that they're a loser. I, I just, I'm just a messenger, okay? Somebody feels like you're the reason that they're a loser. I just feel like this person, whoever whoever I'm picking up on, whoever this energy is going to resonate to, for me to hear that, somebody was just too codependent on your energy. Like I said before, somebody, you being around, it validated this person. It made this person feel whole. It made them feel like they was enough or it made them feel like they was doing something good. And Spirit was like, no, they wasn't. You just had this positive, uplifting um, fresh of breath air in your, in, you know, in, in your um, energy. That don't mean you was doing the work. Somebody, <laughs> somebody, okay. Somebody was looking at you, okay. And, th and, and it's like this person being around you so much, they started thinking that your energy was their energy. Okay, they could have been when they was in your energy, you know, things could have been going in their favor, you know. People could have been seeing this person as the light, you know, oh you oh they oh they're a good person, oh they this and da, da, da. even though you knew the darkness about this person, but people could have been seeing this person, things could have been happening for this person. Because when you know when you connect it to source like that, my, my star seeds, my indigos, my earth angels, you know you are the light, you are the abundance. Anybody that's in your energy, they're gonna attract that as well. And the moment that you left, somebody feels like they're they 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 they're loser. Their their life is going down, and they blame you. And for some of you guys, they actually envy you because they feel like you're successful and they're not doing good. You was helping them. For some of you guys, I just heard you got a new career, and somebody is just really irritated by that. Yeah, with grief and sadness. With communication, this person is sad that you guys are not talking, you're not, you guys are not speaking, and they just see you over here having all of this growth. Okay, something about the winter time or the summertime, yeah. But this is somebody who wants to compromise with you now, compromise and ghost. So this could have been somebody who ghosted you at one point, but now wants to compromise with you, wants to make things work. But this was somebody who was definitely in denial you at one time. Okay. Friendship and insecurities. If you had this, this could have been somebody also like they was insecure about like this person didn't want you to be around nobody but them. If you had friends, this person was insecure with you having friends. Okay. Somebody was very clingy. It's giving very codependent energy. Yeah. And it's like spirit had to take you away from this person because they must, they must grow. They must do the shadow work. Can I have a card on the cat lady? Cat lady. Cat lady. I'm hearing you feeling good and looking your best. Yeah, divine counterpart in reverse. Wow. Mmm. Divine counterpart in reverse. Yeah, it says closed gate, not right time in misalignment. So a cycle could be closed there. What's this divine counterpart in reverse? Somebody could be seeing someone as a comet. What's the divine counterpart in reverse? Trust issues. Now, this person could have definitely um, um, went, went towards a karmic situation. Maybe this person definitely ghosted you for someone else. Um, only for that to be a karmic. What's this trust issues? Thank you, spirit. Yeah, forgiveness. I can't make this up. And now they want your forgiveness. 
Forgive. It says forgiven for past mistakes. Somebody definitely ghosted you. Went to a karmic. Okay. Um. Ooh, child. This karmic did a number on them. But they was in denial, you avoiding the truth about the person who really made them happy, only to go to a low vibrational energy. Um, that was just a disaster. I'm hearing. Gave this person more responsibility than they had from when they went. Yeah, toxic energy. I cannot make it up. Toxic energy and, and many options. If they had responsibilities before, they got even more now. Dealing with that, whoever this karmic they went to. Toxic energies and many options. I just seen um, 2022. Yeah, but there's some type of balance and harmony that's being brought in your life after dealing with somebody who was very toxic, who had unhealthy behavior, someone who had you know, trauma issues that they didn't want to heal from. They just projected it out onto you. Um, it wasn't good. I'm hearing it wasn't good. Okay. This person definitely had a lot of options. The spirit is saying we're hot mess. This person left life is a hot mess right now. If somebody needs your help. They need your healing. Okay. This person could be going through a divorce or a breakup. Um, I'm here. This person got to get right. What's the communication? What's the communication about? Thank you. Communication is about growth. This person wants to grow with you. Pretending. This person could have... Whoever this person you haven't been in contact with, they was pretending that they was all right. Um, you know, they was pretending that they weren't bothered by this breakup or what happened with this connection. But this person wants to reach out to you and let you know that... They want to move things forward. How can we reconcile? How can we take things to the next level? You know, they want to confess. But somebody feels like whoever the karmic was, they feel like they did something that they may not can't come back from with the closing gate. That's why this person, closing gate was clarified with, um, they, somebody wants your forgiveness, okay? They know they must confess what went down with this karmic. But they feel like, you know, they hope that you will be able to forgive them. Yeah, compromised. They hoping that you'll be able to compromise with them. Somebody got them so somebody dealt with a karmic that was a hot mess that was full of drama. Okay. Somebody could have even walked away from you and thought you was the drama only to walk into the drama. Oh child, I can't make it up. Travel and conflict. Spirit come through. Somebody could have thought you was a damn drama. Okay. And walked and walked away from you and walked right into the drama. It says travel and conflict. Okay, spirit gave them exactly what they wanted. They manifested it. Somebody manifested their own bull crap. Yeah, all out of their insecurities. Mm -hmm. And and then and they envy you because they see you over here having peace and success, and, and you know choosing to look at the lighter side of life. And somebody is just like, yeah, whoever this person that ghosted you. Okay, they they not they don't. Mm -mm. What's this ghosted? Yeah, they could be dealing with legal issues. Yeah, lesson learned. Spirit said you learned you learned some type of lesson here. Oh, this person is learning lessons as well. Yeah, lesson learned and finances. So this person finance could be having trouble with their finances. They could be having legal issues. They definitely need some type of help right now. Mm -hmm. Finances, money, stress, financial support, lesson learned, lesson in relationship learned. I feel like you completed out a cycle. Mm-hmm. And whoever this person is, they're going through see spirit is affecting this person's finances. Whoever did this to you, their finances getting affected. Also, whatever this hot mess that they have with this damn karmic that they're trying to get away from. Somebody really wants to be with you, but they kind of scared that you won't forgive them for what you know what they did with this karmic. Mm. Somebody sees you as very classy. Um, somebody well, um, somebody who's well put. I'm hearing. Somebody feel somebody. I heard elegant. Somebody loves the way um how you conduct yourself. Somebody see you as a real lady or a real gentleman, real classy, real elegant. I'm hearing. I heard it turn me on. <laughs> Spice it up. <laughs> I heard it turns me on. Yeah. It really turns this person on. This person can feel real trapped in a situation that they're in now. They could be definitely experiencing some type of anxiety. Anything else, Holy Spirit?
Yeah, this person was confused about you. Mm-hmm. They were. And I just feel like, um, you know, when they left, you made you you made you you let you let them you put air, you put space between it. You let them since they knew what they was doing and you focused on your success. You know, the things that you was passionate about. Um, you know, your goals, the things that you want to pursue in, this, in, in your reality. You persevered through this. And somebody envies you for, you for that. Yeah, contentment. Finding peace in the situation. You found peace. Mm -hmm. You found peace when they did what they did. You sure did. And you focused on your success. Yeah, under the bottom, Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. I'm telling you, you got some type of offer, some type of new beginning from the divine, okay? And somebody, look, three of swords to the devil. Somebody is hurt. I'm telling you, somebody chose the karmic three of swords to the devil, and they want to come in rushing in for your forgiveness because, ooh, eight of Pentacles, King of Swords, ooh, champ. This person was cold. They was cold towards you. Mm-hmm. Yep. They didn't want to make it work. They chose to calm it. But now I feel like somebody is definitely seeing the truth. For somebody who was once in denial, they see the truth about you. Mm -hmm. And with the page of cups, they want to come and apologize. It's somebody who's admiring you. Okay? They want to make things work. Eight of Swords. They feel trapped. And I feel like it's just in their head, not a sword. They have an anxiety because the fact that they don't know if you're going to forgive them after all, all this mess they did with this karmic. Because this is somebody who ghosted you, eight of cups, only to walk into a bunch of burdens, ten of wands. Something was done, but drama and chocos, queen of swords, king of swords, king of swords. Okay? Yeah, these two people didn't get along. This is somebody who separated. They want out of this connection. King of Cups, Five of Cups. Yeah. The one who they had love for. I'm telling you. Who they had love for. Who made them happy. They didn't regret. Because they chose. I'm just going to be honest. They just met their match. Yeah. Yeah. They met their match. Somebody who was just cold and ruthless like them. Had options just like them. Yeah. Because of what they did to an earth angel or indigo. Yeah, two of swords. They didn't even see that. They didn't even see that coming. They didn't see that coming at all. Something backfired. And now somebody wants to come in and talk to you. So, I don't know, so I see how y'all going to feel about this when this person come back. But Spirit is saying they coming back. But with this star card, somebody didn't see you being a star. Somebody didn't see you bossing up. They didn't. Nope. They didn't see that you will be able to heal after being left out in the cold. And you did that shit by yourself. Not a pinnacle to the temperance. They want to come in and balance things out with you. Page of wands. They want to communicate with you. Because this person sees you as good news. They see you as this positive, uplifting, inspirational person. And with the four pinnacles being here, somebody is holding on tight to your energy. Four cups. Yeah, because this somebody who don't want to feel like they missed out on an opportunity with you. Ace of Cups to the Ace of Wands. But I feel like you got you about to get new love. You get a whole new beginning. Will of Fortune. Yeah, Will of Fortune to the lovers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You get a new love. It's like somebody missed out on an opportunity with you. They blocked themselves by, you know, whatever the situation that they did to you. Yeah, Seven of Wands. Yeah, Seven of Wands, King of Wands. This person blocked themselves. Mm. I might feel like I, the sun card to the high priestess, now the shrimp card to the ten of pentacles. Somebody feel like you don't belong to them no more. You, you, you focused on success, okay? This is the shrimp card to the ten of pentacles. This is you creating, you know, generational wealth, legacy, um, peace, happiness, you know, and protecting that as well, too, you know, Nine of Pentacles to the World card, it could have been a long time coming before a cycle closed out, but with the Six of Swords, Two of Pentacles, I feel like you was guided because, some, you know, to move away to come waters because somebody was juggling you, you got the hell away, you like, uh-uh, I'm not gonna have nobody juggling me, 
Five of Wands to the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. Just somebody who was in denial, you know, whether you was wifey material or husband material, you know, whether you, you know, like, who, listen, somebody wanted you to like, somebody was in denial about your worth. <laughs> And now they seeing they seeing things at a distance now what it really is. Justice to the eight of wands. Uh-huh. Now they want to come in and communicate with you, balance things out with you, talk to you. But with the knight of cups to the knight of wands, you see this energy as very flighty. Some of you guys, you see this person as a player. You don't trust them. Whoever this person is from your past, six of cups. Yeah, six of wands. This definitely has the potential to be a very spiritual um. I heard a um, very um, high vibrational, uplifting connection. But with the death card being here to the judgment, something changed. Yeah, because of what this person did to you, they under karma. Yeah, they under judgment. I'm going to leave this here, Sunsteeds. I hope this reading definitely helped you guys, gave you guys clarity on your situation. Somebody definitely, like, they is, this person is, I'm, I'm talking about hurt. Okay? Mm-hmm. Because they love you. They ain't their feelings. Yeah. It's like somebody hurt themselves by being in this low vibrational karmic behind energy, you know? And they went to it somewhere where they could have been making you feel like you was the problem in this connection only to walk into a problem. And it was all because this person one day didn't want to do the shadow work. And now this person is weighed down. Could have possibly even married someone, gave someone a commitment, and it, it just backfired. The ace of cups to the ace of wands, somebody could have even been, you know, pregnant, okay? Or, or somebody couldn't be finding out they're pregnant, you know? Taking a pregnancy test. Um, you know, if so, congratulations to whoever that is, okay? But I feel like with you, you just get all new, new judgment, purpose. Somebody did this to an indigo, I'm telling you. Somebody did this to an indigo, somebody who was in a purpose, yeah, that's um that's why they calm is the way you're not just a just a regular average jug, you know, you, you just no. That's why I, I always say you gotta be careful how you treat people. You never know who you entertaining. Okay. Somebody really had a have a problem and, and they don't know what to do. You know? Now they being forced to do the shadow work because who they came for somebody who was um uh, who's an indigo that's fully in a purpose. Yeah, heart chakra. You awaken somebody's heart chakra. Mm-hmm. This person was in denial. Uh-huh. This person could have had a definitely a very bad addiction, and they was in denial about that. Okay? Mm-hmm. Yep. Now they feel guilty. They feel guilty because things are changing. You changed. You done grew. Yeah. They feel like you got peace. I heard earlier, I cannot believe what I... Somebody... I heard somebody blame you. Somebody feel like you the reason why they a loser. I ain't never hear that in a reading. Ooh, child. I love you, Sussies. I love you guys so very much. Again, I hope this reading definitely gave you guys clarity, helped you. Um, until we get up next time. I can't make it up. Look at this. Archangel Raphael and Goddess. You you gotta be look at this. Earth Angel. <laughs> you are a powerful light worker. <laughs> look at this. You wasn't just anybody. That was sent on this person's path. Goddess, Archangel Raphael, you are a powerful light worker, earth angel, ascended master, grief. Come on, regret. Do I need to keep going? <laughs> this person is in so much regret. You will, listen, you will never be forgotten about. Never be forgotten about. Wow. Wow, I'm telling you, that's why they call me so crucial like that. Ooh, look who they did something to. An earth angel, a light worker, a goddess, a healer. Ooh, child, I wouldn't want to be that person at all. I love you, Sunseeds. I love you guys so very much. Until we get up next time. Later, Sunseeds.